What does exercise do to your ketone and blood sugar levels? Let's find out. I'm basically right now on my way to the gym and I decided to find out what exercise does to my blood ketone and blood sugar levels. So I'm now gonna measure before the exercise and after the exercise. I'm planning to have a 30, 45 minutes workout of heavy weight lifting. So let's see. I'm first going to measure my ketone levels. I'm on a ketogenic diet now for about three, four weeks. And usually I measure my ketone levels in the morning. I have to wait until the drop of blood is enough. I'm usually measuring my ketone levels in the morning and I am at uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 um, millimolars of beta hydroxybutyrate usually. So this is unusual for me now. My last meal was ketogenic or I was eating ketogenic today, but uh, I usually measure fasted after 12 hours fasting. So let's see what it does now to my ketone levels before the exercise. Let's see, it always counts down. Okay, so I'm in my ketosis, 0 0.8. And now we check for glucose. All right, my glucose is pretty high right now, surprisingly. Uh, usually in the morning it's around 74 in a ketogenic diet, but that's interesting. So now we see each other again in about 45 minutes and we measure again and see whether it went up or down. All right, I'm just back from the gym. We measured exactly an hour ago, and now we will see what a 40 minutes workout plus 10 minutes biking towards the gym and 10 minutes biking back did to my ketones and blood sugar levels. Let's see. So I had a back and leg workout, including some uh, deadlift, some leg press, pull-ups and abs. That's basically all it was. All right, so I'm still slightly in ketosis, so 0.5 millimolar. And now we check the glucose. All right, it actually went down. That's Interesting. Okay, so uh, this exercise, this workout did not kick me out of ketosis, but it lowered my uh, ketone levels and it also lowered my glucose levels. I have to say, I honestly expected something different because when I did a two day fast and at the end of my fast, I measured my ketones and glucose before the workout, my ketones actually went down a lot and my glucose skyrocketed, so I was above 100 milligrams per deciliter. I will just put the link uh, somewhere here or here if you, then you, so you can check out the video. Um, so I guess this will bring us further to understanding how our body actually works in ketosis, especially now I'm three weeks into the ketogenic diet, so I'm very fairly keto adapted, and I also ate something today. Uh, what I ate exactly, I can put in the description so you can check it out and make your own opinion on it. Um, yeah, and I want to end this video by saying that, of course, this is a NS1, NS1 experiment, so it doesn't prove anything. But those experiments help us, especially help me, to form a theory, to state a hypothesis that then can be later tested. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, consider subscribing and see you hopefully next time. Thank you for watching.